I can do more wolf quest. Yeah! Of course, we're going back in with Renity. Since she is, well, the wolf I made for YouTube. The reason I keep doing that is because, well, my wolf quest on my tablet's a little weird. Sometimes it'll glitch out if I go to Nari, you save, so it's safer to just do that, you know, go from the beginning, I don't really mind. In the way, I'm going to make our way back up to the grasslands. I know this is the only territory I really go to, but it's really the easiest one to go to. So I don't get lost, so it's easier to see. And I just like being out in the grasslands. Although, for me, he does send out like a sore thumb here. I we see another wolf trail. We can find somebody! Finally! I mean, we found someone last episode, but. No, rabbit. I'm not gonna chase you right now. I'm more curious about this wolf. Is it this person, another pack member, or who? Who are you? Oh, your fellow dispersal. Mm, kind of pretty, I'll admit. Gray, brown. I think Runa you might have found her match. I'm so early on in the series on this. This is only episode four. <laughs> and guys, I've played Wolf Quest of course before YouTube, so I've mastered how to port your mate in Wolf Quest 2.7. Although I still need, I don't have a quest three yet, as I mentioned earlier in the series, and I know it's a lot more difficult there. But either way, I've been thinking. About names ever since I created Vernity and Wolf Quest. I think I might have a good name for him. I was thinking Jack. Vernity and Jack. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Vernity and Jack. And of course, I have a little tradition. Whenever I find a mate for my wolves, we howl. I think we might have the same howl, actually. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. We gotta get to the creek. I've always had a bit of a difficult time getting to Salt Creek, but I was going to get there eventually. I gotta constantly check on my map to make sure I'm not going the wrong way.
pretty good because I'm checking the map a lot until we actually get to Slew Creek. I mean, I'm going to go checking the map there a lot too. But, yeah, you guys probably never forget what I'm trying to say. Let's go! We're going to Slough Creek. Or Slough Creek, however you say it. It doesn't really matter, really. Another thing I do to make hunting easier in Slough Creek is to turn it into night. That way, our carcasses won't get eaten. Not our carcasses, our elk carcasses won't get eaten by birds. Of course, cougars, coyotes, bears can still show up, but I'd rather that than get the ravages by the birds. That. Sorry about that, guys. I haven't played this game in a while. Well, it's not so creepy. So, yeah. Where are we going? I usually go up here. Past the river. I like it there because there's no country ground and the den nearby. Window can think around now. That's just Jack. In the way guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time when we try hunting with this pair for the first time. See you guys next time. <laughs>